I've been here in Inglis for about like I think it's almost two weeks now. Getting a lot done, kind of getting things together for like our personal life at home so we can keep things rolling here and kind of been juggling back and forth from the shop to the house and everything like that. But today is a big day because our truckload arrived this morning. So Dan and Mark are, they just landed this morning. They're on their way over here to the shop. I have just been sweeping, <laughs> loving every square foot of this place right now. It's gonna be a process. We have our work cut out for us here, but I can't wait to make it like our rad home. Just like how we had our shop in California. Here we can do even more because it's actually our building. Yeah, just wanted to give you a little update. I got my little sweeping piles all over. I'm going one slab at a time. It's the only way to approach this. I'm sure we'll get some filming of the truck getting unloaded today. The driver just arrived this morning. I met him and the truck's out there. So it's the official move in. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Try to unlock this piece. I did my part, I'll let Dan and Mark do the rest. <laughs> I wish. Many hours later. All right, so we didn't film a single thing till we were done. We started at one o'clock. This is Tom. Renee's here, we're sweating. Oh, she's hiding. I thought she was in there. Carrie's hiding. Yeah, go on, Carrie, say something. <laughs> Hi. We started at one o'clock and it's five o'clock and we unloaded that whole thing. Boom, look at all that stuff, guys. Look at all that stuff here. If you guys can't tell, well, you can't really, but I'm pretty sweaty. Been a, quite the day of unloading. Okay, so we had a flight to get here last night. Normal flight out of LAX, because it was a straight shot. It's gonna get us here at 11 p.m. in Orlando, Florida, East Coast time, which would have been eight o'clock California time, no big deal. So we wait, then they delay the flight, delay the flight, delay the flight, then cancel the flight, then they give us another flight that goes to Cincinnati. And we wait till 10 p.m. California before we leave, get to Cincinnati at like four in the morning, stay there till eight in the morning, 4.30 Cincinnati till eight, layover, fly here, get here at 10.10, wait forever to get our Turo, drive over here, it takes like a little longer than two hours because traffic and we had to stop. We just hustled and we've been unloading and this is the new shop. It's huge. Oh, we got a lot of rearranging to do. And Tom and Carrie are the people that sold us the building. They built this building in 2000 and they happen to be workaholics, kind of like Renee and I, and they're helping us. And it's really cool to get here and be here. I'm excited. Let's go outside. So you guys saw out back there where the trailer was? Out front here. Look at this. Ooh, Renee's super. But the cool thing about out front is look at all this asphalt. You guys know what's gonna happen there, don't you? And as soon as I can save up, there's gonna be more asphalt. If we can get more right here, take this weird little porta potty looking building out and put more asphalt here. And then if we could put a fence up so you can like shut it down when we wanna do a bunch of burnouts and drifting, we're gonna do that. Look how cool that tree is with the Spanish moss. That one. I got some snakes in there. All right, guys, I gotta get back to it. Oh, there's Mark and he's not talking again. You have something to say this time though, huh? Yeah, get to work. yesterday then we organized today moved some cars around moved a bunch of boxes around still gotta kind of set up the area behind me we're gonna have one lift right here 
and then another lift right there. So it'll be the two lifts there. That's kind of the plan. And then kind of move the toolboxes where they'll be. Hopefully we can put the trailer behind me there inside, which will be cool. Set up this area over here as like shipping, sell all the parts and mail them to you guys or merch, whatever it might be. That's definitely an improvement from what we had at the other shop. So that's going to be cool. And there's more space here. So everything should be more organized and then we have room to grow. You guys will see the very beginning of this new shop for us and you can watch how it progresses. We're excited. And we have a Mark here. He's not talking. He usually says a lot in these videos, but... <laughs> it's like he just came with the building to just stand there. <laughs> no, he's always like doing something or building something. All right, we got to head back to California because we still have more cars over there, more stuff. So that's our quick update, guys. Talk to you soon. Say bye to Renee because she's not coming back to California. We're not going to see her till around two <laughs> in Atlanta. All right, see you guys. Okay, so we got our first load of gear wrench tools here. Tom's helping out. They're getting us all set up so we can get this garage nice and gear wrench furnished. Turbo 2. <laughs> Last night at about 11 o'clock, made it, and guess what's inside? Ta-da! The trailer fits inside and the shop still looks big. That's crazy. And that's width-wise. Yep, this is a big shop. Still got lots to do. As you can see, we haven't unpacked. There's lots of boxes, I guess behind the Crown Vic there. You can see some boxes, toolboxes and shelving over there. I think first things first, I gotta get the race car out of there. So I gotta re-hook up to the trailer, pull it forward, get the race car out, and then get ready to work on it. Exactly a week from today, we gotta be at Orlando, and we need the car to be ready to do whatever we needed to do. We had great results in Atlanta, Let's go off that momentum. Good vibes of moving over here and do good in Orlando. Gonna get to work again. Was gonna have a break, but woke up at six o'clock. Not gonna happen, I guess. No days off first. right now. What are we gonna build first? Yeah. <laughs> and Norway is supposed to be here. So we have like Ola and his car. I and mean, I think Simon Olsen needs to do something to his car. So we got a lot of people about to show up. I don't know about today. They said maybe today or tomorrow. So a lot going on, never stops. And then when it does, we'll be old and dying, so. What do you guys think the shop's gonna look like oh, a yeah. year from now? I wonder too. That's a big one. <laughs> we're busy people, so we're gonna do some cool stuff here. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, you guys, I'll bring you up to speed in a little bit, but we've finished unloading our last load in this container. Now, have been working for a little while, figuring out the best way to get this container off this low boy trailer. Got some local help, good dudes around here. I'm sure you guys wanna watch this. We're also time-lapsing it. Check it out. <laughs> Just another day. <laughs> We did some service on it after Atlanta. 
arrived here and it's been like full speed ahead to unload the second container. It's hot and humid. Simon and Ola are here. And today, May 17th, which is like Norway's um, Independence Day. So Simon's like, can I do a burnout? I'm like, yeah, you can do a burnout. We were gonna go out front, in front of the shop. Let me show you guys. Oh, check this out. So we're setting up all these shelves and we can put the inventory of the parts that you guys can buy on our website. Easy to access, it'll be way easier for shipping. Before we had them in three sections of the other shop. And then check out this little mini oval we have here. It's more of like a second gear situation, but you could test the car on your own property. The neighbors say they don't care. I just talked to the neighbor, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna do something. He's like, tear it up. So far, Florida is amazing. Really good vibes from everybody. Everyone's very welcoming. Big shop, we just gotta organize it. And right when we got here, it was like straight to servicing the car and trying to set the shop up. And now we're going racing again this weekend. Not a whole lot of time to settle in, but we'll get there. Just haven't been vlogging, but I wanted to share with you guys this exciting moment. I've been out there with Baby Blue already, but I haven't done anything with Big Blue. I don't know, Baby Blue is more of a black baby now, but whatever. Still Baby Blue, it's got the blue strip. So we're gonna go out there right now and test it, make sure everything's functioning. Cause we had the trans out, we put a new ACT clutch in, kind of heated this one up pretty good. That's what always happens. We got a couple rounds out of it and um, practicing and everything. And when I start to feel the pedal move, I just change it out before it's too late and you gotta do it at the track and you lose practice or whatever. All right guys, let's go have some fun in the car. did our first drifting session out front with Simon. That was pretty fun. Let's go look at it real quick. It's the mini oval. I wish there was a little more asphalt, but it'll do for now. Very exciting. What do you think, Turbo? Turbo approved. Turbo's still trying to get acclimated to the heat. Simon's getting his car ready for FD Orlando. Olaf's getting his car ready for Orlando. Olaf's adding a little bit of weight because Two black boxes. Yeah, he's got two black boxes. He's getting some wider tires here shortly. Some 305s. So that's gonna put him into two weight brackets above where he was currently. So that's why he's doing a little more there. He's excited for more drip, but probably don't wanna add that weight. Check out his car. Super clean, nice car. Simon, you're getting your stuff ready for Orlando? Yeah. Car's ready? Car's ready. You're hot. Yeah. Too Florida hot. It's stupid hot. I'm sweating more than he is, I feel like. And he's moving tires. I'm working. Okay. You don't feel me. Yeah, but <laughs> you're not even sweating. 
His car is ready to go to have some fun in, in Orlando at the Oval. And now he's got way more grip than he used to have, so it's going to be good. GT radio snow. Okay. Uh -huh. There's the big rig. Turbo, you are hot. I'm excited for Orlando. Let's go do a repeat or advance further than we did last round and just have fun drifting. All right, talk to you guys in a bit.